Howdy ladies and gents, my name is Tom Gibson and today I wanted to tell you a little bit about the microphone settings that I use on my Rode Video Mic Pro with my Canon T3i. The Rode Video Mic Pro runs for about $200. They also have another less costly option, uh, the Video Mic Go, which is not as high quality, but it's still much better than the quality of audio that you're gonna get with the camera. Currently you're hearing the Video Mic Pro microphone and this is what the microphone inside the camera sounds like. So a few things about using this microphone, they have a little switch uh, that looks like it's got a little bent line and then a flat line. All that means is if you want to enable what they call a high pass filter, where it's letting all the higher frequencies in, but it's cutting all the frequencies below 80 hertz. And what that means is all the sounds below 80 hertz, which are things like an air conditioner hum or the, the sound of a truck moving in the distance, really low sounds that you don't really want to muddy up your audio, it just cuts them out. So I'll always have that high pass filter on uh, just because I'm not recording a bass guitar or a kick drum or anything with it. So I don't need anything below 80 hertz. Everything that I'm recording like dialogue and just this environmental sounds are gonna be above that. The other switch on there you'll see is that it's got a negative 10 dB, a zero, and then a plus 20 dB. Zero is kind of like your normal setting. If you're in a really loud setting, you'd wanna bump it down to negative 10 dB, just kind of pulling the, the levels down a little bit so it doesn't peak your sounds. It's not sounding all crackled and distorted distorted or anything like that. When I'm in these settings of just me in my room, I always have it at plus 20 dB, and then I go into manual settings on my camera, and I just move it one notch over from the left. And the reason for that is inside the microphone, it's basically boosting my sound up 20 decibels, and it's amplifying my sound. Um, if I weren't to do that, it, I would be using the amplifiers that are inside of the camera, which aren't as good. This is the microphone set at the zero dB level and I've pulled the gain up on the camera at the 25% level. Um, so basically I'm trying to boost my sound with the amplifiers in the camera instead of using the uh, amplifier that's in, built into the microphone. If you're quiet, you can kind of hear a little bit more of that hiss noise. And that's called the noise floor. Um, the, 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 the sound of that noise floor is coming up because I'm boosting it up to that 25% level in the camera. Uh, this is with the microphone at zero dB, and on the camera, it's at the halfway point, uh, the 50% marker, um, so you can hear a lot more noise, a lot more of that noise floor um, and that hiss. I don't go with this setting really ever, but the more you go up on the camera, the more of that noise you're gonna hear. And here is the settings with the microphone on zero dB and the camera on auto. So in this scenario, the camera's basically listening and if I'm being really loud, it's gonna try to bring down the level a little bit to kind of balance it out. And if I'm really quiet, it boosts the sound up and you can actually hear a lot more of that noise because it's listening so it raises up the sound. And if you're in an environment where the sounds are changing a lot, um, this might be more ideal, but I just feel it's a lot more noise than what I want. And now you're listening again to the plus 20 dB where I'm only one notch over on the internal camera settings. You don't hear nearly as much noise even when there's no talking. So I kind of kept it at these settings for a really long time, whether I was by myself or out in public, but as I was kind of going out in public, a lot of times where I was doing this plus 20 decibels and that one notch over on the camera, the audio would just be too loud and it would start sounding distorted, which is not what I wanted because then I had to go back and kind of clean it up uh, in post-production and make sure it didn't clip. Um, so what I started to do, if I was in either a moderately loud or a loud environment, I started putting my microphone at zero dB and then moving the notch up to um, about 25%. If it was a really loud environment, I'd kind of even pull it back just a little bit, uh, mainly because it was so loud that you weren't gonna be hearing any of that background hiss or noise because there's so much other sound present. Um, and that's been working out better. I haven't had nearly as much uh, clipping or distorted sound. So those are my camera settings. I hope that's helpful. I know that this uh, microphone's a little bit pricey, but hopefully that kind of helps you understand a little bit more about audio as well uh, and the steps to take to move forward to getting uh, a little bit better audio. So thanks for watching and I will see you next week. Robotics is an elective for middle school students at the Cabelli School. 